Are you ready? I'm ready. You got your new skates, your new hockey skates, show them off. Boom, 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 boom. How excited are you to skate with freshly sharpened hockey skates? I'm a little nervous. Okay, I told him that freshly sharpened skates are gonna be a lot harder than rental skates. So it's gonna feel like you can't turn whatsoever. So oh. we're gonna yeah, check these out though. see how they go. They are Vader, Boyer, Bayer, I don't know how you pronounce that. Boyer? But they're know. Vader, so I like the name. <laughs> They're called the Vapor... Oh damn, I thought it was Vader. No, it's, it's Vapor <laughs> I'm gonna, X 2.5. I'm gonna call it Vader, because I prefer that name better. But you could call it Vader, Vapor. There were like no in-betweens. There were either the cheap ones or the like mad expensive ones. There was like no in-between. So, let's go, in, let's go into the rink and see how these turn out. Alright, the music a little bit loud, but I prefer it. Weird. <laughs> <It's so> weird. <laughs> oh, these are smooth. Yeah, right. You it's can... pretty smooth. Yeah. Like, I feel it. So it's been half an hour. How do you feel? My ankles hurt. Your ankles hurt? Yeah. I wonder why. How many times have, to, have, you, have you had to tie them already? Just twice. Twice? I haven't tied them since that time you saw me sitting here and you're like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, oh okay. okay. That was the last time. I'm in pain. You're in pain? <laughs> You're gonna need some ibuprofen after this. For the pain for the ankles? Yeah. And if it continues like this after you've broken them in, I feel like you might need some like ankle jellies, okay. like I do. But I don't know, like, it's, a, it's like a preference if you want it or not. But yeah. Now for me, what it hurts is not really so much like my ankle, all of it, it's so much like this part against oh, like okay. my bone, like it's too stiff. That's how it is for me too, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know. I know I have to break them in. I just need to take a break so that it can stop hurting. Okay. I just finished my lesson, that's why I'm all red. But we're gonna go ahead and see how Chris did in his hockey skates for like the past 30 minutes. Let's see your progress. So, the breaking is just difficult on these skates because they're new, so I don't think. Besides, I've showed stopping a lot. That was the one thing I was proud of. Okay. So should I, should I show stopping? Well, yeah, because it's like brand new skates. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like you should. Okay. Okay. You weren't able to do that earlier. And after that, we went the. Oh, uh, like some sort of swizzles. Okay. No what problem. about the other ones? Which ones? Um, like those. Okay. Not bad. Now, have you tried backwards yet? Backwards to those? The other ones. Oh, the ones like that? Huh? Yeah. The ones, the butterfly yeah. ones? Yeah. I call them, I don't know how I call them. You call them butterflies? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Try to do backwards. <laughs> hard, but how does wait I want to know one thing how does your actual skates feel like with the rentals compared to the rental ones a lot cleaner like I feel like as far as blade wise goes that's kind like, of what I want to know like how does the blade feel compared to the other one a lot better I feel like it's more stability really um, I can kick off and hold myself with one leg without my skate gliding sideways mm -hmm. just going straight so new one's actually pretty good yeah, yeah. They were a bit too sharp at first, so I couldn't do the stop. Mm -hmm. And now, but yeah. Yeah, I told him to go over there, over there where like the rubber mat is and just like rub it for a little bit. Did that help at all, or you just have to get used to it? I think, I'm not really sure. I mean, <laughs> you're going backwards, so that's good. Is that all I taught you? Breaking. Well, obviously you taught me the one where you break with this one foot. Yeah. And then there's you break with both. Butterflies. Have you tried doing the other way backwards? What? Like the swizzles? Yeah. I just really got the swizzles down. Okay. When you're going backwards, you use 
like the ball of your foot near the toe pick to go backwards. Oh, that's what you use? Yeah. You're not on your heel because then you're going to fall backwards. I know, but like, I can't. <laughs> just think of the ball of your foot just like going backwards. I can, I can, I can, like, the butterfly and everything is easy. This, you just do it backwards, but like, it's not the same for this, right? You're kind of using your, your hips more going backwards. Like, just pretend you're like moving your butt. Like everything is on the hips right there. I get, I get what you mean by moving your. It helps you go backwards. Yeah, no, I can see what you mean. Like I can feel it. But you gotta also like use it's your. Just, I don't know how to. I guess. The incorporate blade, everything. The blade. Yeah, I don't know the. You're still on the inside edge. Still on the inside edge. Do it. So I'm just being dramatic. You're in your inside edge. Like okay, you're flat here. This is your inside edge. Yeah. That's your outside edge. So kind of like use the inside part. And I don't know how to swim. <laughs> wiggle that booty. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle that booty. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that today. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's is, today, today was just you were trying to get used to those. Yeah, yeah. I think I used to them fairly quick. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. All right, I'll have you practice for a bit. Ah. <laughs> it's like when you're picking up speed and taking off, they also said like a lot of people swing their arms side to side, but then it said that that's bad because it ruins the momentum since like your momentum is now going side to side uh -huh. rather than just forward. So it said that you got it's like running. You gotta keep them inward. I feel like you're teaching me more than I'm teaching you. Well, Which makes sense the, though, because I'm Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, and there's some other stuff that I still am not gonna show you because I can't do, but it's more like digging your toes into the ice and like doing a quick two, two piece run. So it'll be like dig toe, push, dig toe, push, and then like glide, and then follow by doing the thing that I was doing now to basically go fast. Do you wanna do that? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna have to like go with you too. Nice. <laughs> I kind of want you to try to stop, like right at the boards. Am I going as fast as I can? Yeah. So close. Nice though. Huh? You still you still stopped at the boards. That's good. Like without smacking into it. Yeah. It's like a few days later. So I didn't want to wear makeup, so I don't worry about my face. Um, but I'm gonna teach Chris how to do like a one foot glide and potentially crossovers. But first, we're gonna do um, teaching him to go backwards, like the little snake swizzles. So yeah, let's get started. You're up. You ready? Yes, coach. <laughs> Let me get you. <laughs> So you're gonna do the backward swizzles. Do you remember them or do you want me to do Backward like... swizzle? I can't even do... I taught you them last time. Uh, isn't backward swizzles a bit too intense to just go straight off the back for backwards? I already taught you. So, no, it's not. And do the butterfly thingy. There you go. Bring him in closer. 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 Bring them in closer. You're not bringing them in close. Uh, let's do the swizzles now, since you got that down. Keep your arms square. Keep them out. Keep them out. Bend them. And then using your hips, swizzle backwards. And you're just using your inside edges. Oh, okay. So you're not scraping the, the back heels. No, using the, the front, the ball of your foot. It takes practice, don't worry. Not even moving. I'm just shaking my butt. Alright, let me like push a little bit. Alright, go for it. I'm gonna try to like show you like detail. If I could say detail, have your arms out, bend your knees, and then with your hips, you like swizzle. You're using the inside edge, the front one where the ball your foot is. You dig it into the ice each time. I'm 
I'm telling you guys, he doesn't want to do it. He's very lazy. He like, doesn't want to do it at all. He like refuses to do backward ones. Same. Nothing. Don't worry about it. They probably can't even hear you. You're saying something. I'm saying something. You're gonna, you're gonna know when I when I upload it. <laughs> and I'm done. Okay, try backwards now. Wow. <laughs> First, correct posture. Yes. Knees bent. Shoulders aligned with your knees. Arms out. Arms out. And then inside edges, while your foot, use your hips to move. Dig, dig. Don't just keep it in one spot. Actually dig. I don't get, I don't get the physics of going backwards. Cause like when you dig into the ice, you're digging in and it's moving you. If it helps, uh, well you're doing it already. One boot doesn't move as much. The other one like goes in a half circle. You're, you're gonna need more practice, but you're kind of getting there. Like you're still, you're still going backwards for sure. You just need more practice doing it. Walk through fire for you. Just let me adore you. All right. They're sl they're small ones, but yeah, it's there. Okay, okay. I just want to go on this leg. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just keep on practicing that for now, and get back to you in a bit. So I kind of helped him out with the stroking so he could learn how to like keep balance with one foot. He knows how to do that so much. So I'm gonna try to get him to do one foot glide. When you go, when you do a one foot glide, you keep your knees slightly bent. You keep square, and then you bring up this knee to the other knee. It's gonna take some time, so like I know you're gonna like end up going like that a little bit, but that's just you try and get your balance first. Okay. So that's fine for beginners. But eventually, I want you to go like that. Damn. So let me show you. Oh, there you go. Wait, I thought you were gonna have more problems than that. I thought you were gonna have to take longer time to do it. Okay. <laughs> Can you try the next one now? All right. That's good. Try to hold down for two seconds. Yeah, you can hold the other one longer. That one's gonna need more work, so hold it. Try to hold it as long as you can. Just try to hold it as long as you can. Okay, okay, okay. So in that context, I think you're ready for crossovers. Oh, really? Yeah. That was easy. I think I've been practicing the glides, but I've never like done that. So I didn't know I could do it. So I guess I practiced enough my balance already. Just. Okay. Can I still just do this a little bit longer to warm up? Sure. Okay. Okay. Chris? Yeah. Crossover time. I'm gonna tell you the um, step way before you actually start moving so you can get the concept of it. Okay. So what you're gonna do, keep your arms like this. Like keep your body towards the circle. Okay. This one's gonna stay down. And then with this one, you're gonna cross it over. So I want you to learn that first, just to cross it. Okay. Before you actually use um, speed. Okay. I want you to do that first. Okay. Body towards the circle? Um, like that? Yeah, body towards the circle. Like open your body towards the circle. So, so it's the opposite. So you basically twist your body towards the inner circle of whichever way you're turning. Yeah. So if it's this way, then it'll be... The other way, yeah. This. Yeah. And then just like cross your leg forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Harder. Yeah. It's your opposite foot. That's why. There you go. Yeah. It's a bit weird because like it's like completely reversed. Yeah. So I'm gonna lay the camera down here. We're gonna keep on practicing this. I'm just gonna do like a little montage on the side over here. Yeah.
Okay, so it's been a few minutes later. Um, I feel like he's good to show you like the finished product. So we're gonna go ahead and show you everything you learned. Okay, from the small we started? From today, yeah. Okay, but you know, from like all overall. Not overall, because they already seen it. So just what you learned today all combined into one. Okay, so unfortunately, I didn't do too much on my doing this way. But I could still, I still got the, I still got it down of how to switch feet while skating on the ice. Yeah. It's so hard for this side. When you get scared. Yeah, it's just it's just practice. And then I told them that this is like the basics of crossovers. Eventually I'm gonna tell them to like make it a little bit more um how do I say it? So the next time we come back when I film <laughs> I'm gonna have him hold all of the edges. So the first one he picks up he's gonna have to hold it. I was messing up on the last part, but I was still going fast. <laughs> That's what I want you to learn. I know it's like hockey and, and figure skating is a lot different, but eventually, like, I think that would help in the yeah. long run. Show them your. I know you didn't work on it that much, but like the backwards whistles. Oh, right, huh? Or just going backwards. I got this. <laughs> Also, he got that from a video, not from me. So I got it with my right. Okay. But then when I do it with my left, I kind of misbalance. But look at Yeah. Right. That, like I said, it's how it is. Alright. And now uh, your glides. Okay. Next foot. There you go. Good. Alright. I think that concludes our video, yeah? Yeah. Swizzle, crossovers, and then balance. That concludes the video. I hope you liked this episode of Chris learning hockey or like the basic of just like skating. If you want to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe and then turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload. Almost fell. Bye. Through.